Welcome to the project series on CAS TV. I'm Henry, the creative manager here, and I decided to take the reins on the CAS and tuning store track car build. Essentially, we wanted to build a track car on airlift performance suspension, just to demonstrate the fact that you can indeed drive a bagged car on track, as long as it's set up correctly. And we opted to go for an E46M3. It's a car we've always loved here. It's super driver focused and bags are fun, no pun intended. The team's already done a fair bit of work getting the car ready for track here. It's had its fair few set of track days already. Um, they've added semi-slick tyres, a big brake kit, a roll cage and some bucket seats. Performance wise, last year we took the car down to our friends at Regal Autosport and they fitted a CSF radiator in all the cooler along with a wave track differential for us. We'll cut to that footage now. Yes, yeah, so this is the water radiator, so it's a lot thicker than standard. Um, as well as using the B-tube technology as well, so the core itself was also a lot more efficient. Um, all the end tanks, all aluminium, they're all TIG welded. So a common failure point on the standard end tanks is they're plastic and they're crimped on right. to the um, core. Basically they can just pop off or they can crack over time. So that can obviously really ruin your day at a track, so that will never happen with the CSF radiator. Yeah, so this is the CSF oil cooler. Um, so again, this one's a lot deeper as well as a lot tall, taller as well. Um, again, like the end tanks, they're all TIG welded on, so common failure point of the standard. All coolers all fixed as well, so it uses all the standard um, fittings. Yeah, so all this stuff is factory fit as well, so you don't need to do any modifications, anything like that. Um, I mean, the problem with the standard diff on the like E46s, E92, stuff like that, which all use the same diff, is they're viscous. So they don't really do any, actually do anything until there's one spin. Um, and also they've got a lot of problems with um, sort of like performance drop off as they use um, and also like knocking from the standard bearings as well. Um, so the wave track is um, basically like an automatic torque bias and differential but it doesn't have any of the DAT drawbacks of like a uh, um, conventional ATB. So you get kind of like the best of both worlds between sort of like a plated diff and an ATB but you don't get any like the MVH increase like um, any like service requirements, anything like that. So it's perfect for someone who's going to drive the car on the road, then also on the track as well. Mm -hmm. As well, so you just drive it to track day, enjoy the car, not have to worry about it at all. Right. So unfortunately, soon after this, Raj took the car on a track day and ended up having a slight incident. Let's roll that footage now. It's a bit more exciting. Luckily, there was just some light damage down one side of the car. It is, is repairable. However, later in the day, things got a little bit worse for him and the clutch decided to go. So the car did end up being trailered back to us. So for this year, we want to get the car recommissioned and sort out all these little issues, get it running again, and hopefully install some new upgrades. So stay tuned. Here's episode one. Just jump started the car for the first time in absolute months. I've uh, got the whole team here ready to give it a push around the corner to our friends at Pump Lane. Uh, they're in a garage and they're going to help us install the new clutch. Track cars. Track cars are built to be broken. <clears throat> well, we've got the car in next door. They're going to leave it here overnight and start working on it tomorrow. Hopefully it's a simple job. Right, so we've got the new clutch and firewall kit here, supplied by our friends at Regal Auto Support down in Southampton. Uh, we've actually gone for a single plate because that's actually all we need for the power we're going to get out of this car. We're not going to be turbocharging or supercharging S54, so this will do fine. Um, we've also got a few bolts, a uh, release bearing from BMW Berry, so we needed some genuine parts. And these will work perfectly with the kit supplied by Regal. So yeah, the guys at Pump Lane are going to get this fitted for us in the next few days. and. 
yeah, then we'll finally be able to drive it again. Well, we got the E46 back from Pump Lane. They've fitted the new clutch for us. However, we now have no third gear. So that leads us to believe we're gonna need a brand new gearbox or at least get it rebuilt. Maybe look at other options, I don't know. But at the moment we're a bit screwed. So we've got the car back and we still can't really use it. So it's back to the drawing board on that. But we'll see what parts we can get. I don't know, we'll have a look around, but in the meantime, I may as well show you the car because we haven't really done a video on the car at all yet. Um, we've got a nice Alcantara finished sports steering wheel. We might replace this with a Momo deep, deep dish steering wheel. I don't know yet. I kind of like this. It's actually really nice and thick. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. But we sell Momo steering wheels, so we might just try one on the car and see, like, see how it feels. Um, it hasn't got a shifter yet, but we're looking at getting a PS Designs short shifter. Let me turn the car off because as you can hear, the clutch or something, the gearbox is making a hell of a noise at the moment. So I'm going to turn the car off. That's better. And then we've also got full airlift 3H suspension fitted to the car. Which is, well, some people might think it's kind of odd in a track car, but as I said earlier, once you drive this car, the way it's, it's all set up perfectly, it feels like a car on super stiff coilovers and drives great on track. So we, we can't complain about it really. You really, you really can track your car on airlift. So that's super cool. Makes it kind of unique. Yeah, we've got Recaro seats fitted, Sparco's, and we've also got a PS Designs half cage in here, which is pretty cool. It's obviously no show build, but you can see it's just a simple layout for track, nothing rattling around. It's actually got a stock exhaust system at the moment and it's blowing in multiple places. So yeah, another thing that needs to be sorted out. I think we're gonna go for a super sprint full system. We're just looking into that at the moment. That'll be fucking cool. Yeah, it's got um, AP Racing big brake kit on there already. I think we're gonna replace the pads soon as well because they've seen their fair share of track days already and Roform cast wheels. We're going to look at maybe putting some other wheels in the car as well. Um, still undecided at the moment. I want something a bit more with a motorsport look to it. So obviously the M3 is powered by the amazing S54 engine. I love this engine. It's, it's so good. So good on track, so good on fast road. It's amazing. Um, we've also got an Eventuri intake system, uh, which has been sitting around for a few months now. We haven't got around to fitting it, but that's going straight on here. It's got a strut brace. That's all it needs, really. It's such a great engine. Who's that? DMO in the house. <laughs> that DMO DJ guy. What have you got for us? Candy. We've got some Yokohama semi-slick tires on here, which do a great job on track. We just replaced the two front ones recently as well. Yeah, they're super cool. Um, at the moment, we've only got some airlift uh, logos on here, but I think we're going to try and come up with a livery design for the car, which would be quite cool because it is a track car, so we thought, why not make the most of it and do something cool on the exterior? You might be able to see a bit more damage this time as compared to last time. We couldn't really see because it's covered in dust. It's still dusty, but we're outside now where Raj had his little accident. Dang, damn. <laughs> so, we need to get the side of the car sorted out at the body shop at some point, but mm, that's the least of our worries at the moment. Just get the, uh, the gearbox sorted so we can start driving the car again, really. So yeah, next time I think we'll see what we've got in store for the gearbox changes, see what we can find online, see if anyone wants to do a deal with us. Um, we might have a look at possible wheel change and go from there, really. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time.